Hello everyone, Planks here again with another episode of Dwarf Fortress, The High Rock of Love. This is episode 11. Thank you for joining me. And I was just getting really excited about merchants, and I realized there are no merchants trading right now. I don't know where they are. They've gone. They just decided to come in and then take off. So, that was depressing <laughs> our poor old dwarf who's in his mood downstairs he was going to get his silk cloth but not anymore they just decided to take off I don't know why maybe it's got something to do with this trench because they came in over here they walked down into the trench and then just disappeared so I don't know what happened did they die down there or something? What's this? Is this blood? No. And why is there a thing there? This needs to be channeled. Well. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, we're just gotta continue on keeping on. Our poor dwarf friend downstairs is just going to have to suck it up. <laughs> suck it up. He's going to go insane, the poor guy. Get some more channeling happening. Whoa, who's been found dead? Recruit has been found dead. Did I load an old save? What is going on here? Military. I did turn temperature back on, so maybe they're discovering things for the first time again. Yeah, that's what's happened. Okay, so I've got to play with temperature on all the time. Um, the Titan breath, for some reason, has really mucked things up. Why? I can't channel there either. Ah, it's a little bit frustrating. The whole save has got a little bit bugged from that whole Titan business. We'll just have to make do, guys. I don't know what else. There's not much else we can do besides just keep going with it. Our poor old bloke here is just chilling since we don't have any cloth for him I am glad we did manage to get some cloth though so I'll just turn this shear thing on every now and again get him to shear animals Magma crab. Far out. I hate magma crabs. <laughs> Help, save me. The battle rages. I laugh in the face of death. Where is this gay magma crab? Oh, I'm sorry. What? How did he get there? Oh, he's outside again. Squad, kill this son of a gun. Don't know how he got out of here, but he's going down. Come on, squad. Where are you? I can't do it. Where's my squad? Oh, here they come, finally. Yeah, that's right, stinking crab. <laughs> Flying magma misses the sword dwarf. Magma strikes the sword dwarf, but the shot is blocked. Wow, he just cut the thing in half. Nice. That's how it's done. That's how we do things here in the High Rock, the Rock of Love. Don't mess with the crazy dwarves. 
And why, oh why? What's happening here? Open space. There's open space, yet there's a sand wall underneath. How does that work? Game, you're confusing me. And frustrating me at the same time. Okay, so a lot of people have got nothing to do. We need to find something for these dwarves to do. Um, that's a really good point, because there isn't really much to do at this point in time. He's gone stark raving mad. Poor guy. You'll be mourned. Running around babbling. We will miss you. We will miss you, Asteth Olong Tung. Because you are a skilled merchant. But you just happen to want silk cloth and the merchants betrayed you. Stupid merchants. Okay, so... Let's see. May as well start building the pump stack I'm going to need. So I'm just quickly going to look up magma safe stone to make sure... Make sure I'm building with the right stuff. Magma safe. Probably obsidian is the best thing to just go with, I reckon. Where are we? Stone. Obsidian's cool because it's black as well. So let's have a look at our stock screen. How much obsidian blocks do we have? Probably not that many. Zoom down here. 120. Most of the ones we've got are a Lunite. Which is actually magma safe as well. And it's a pretty white colour. But we how much I've got three hundred and seventy one obsidian stones just laying around. Don't have any alunite. Oh we do. Two hundred and six. Hmm, I want to focus on getting, using the stone that's quite plentiful, you know. And that's going to be, I'm going to be mining up a lot of. Migrants. migrants. One, an animal. Two, a doctor. They're coming up the top here. Metalsmith looking dude. Three, four, craft dwarf. Ah, uh, we'll figure it out in a minute. Stop cancelling your channeling, guys. It's annoying. Well... I can build, start working on walls and such, because it doesn't matter what stone I use for that. So that's probably the best option right now. Um, I have to wait for that to be channeled down before I can start there. I can probably start out here. I'm not telling you guys exactly what I'm doing because it's. I want you to see it develop, but I do have a plan. It probably makes no sense to you right now at all, but. Um, well, you can probably figure it out already by what you've seen, but still. So, we've got tons of Illuminate blocks, so we may as well use those. They are Magma Safe as well, which is an added bonus. Um, I'm not building in the right spot, aren't I? Yes. Mm. 
So we'll just, this will keep people busy. The great thing about the 2015 version of Dwarf Fortress is not only, before the masons are the only ones who could build constructions. But now anyone can, which is just so good. Um, what am I doing? I can go out like that. Just need to build a quick floor there. Okay, well, I'll keep them busy for a little while. Should have some... There we go, construct building, good. Yes, this little spot just here I'm finding weird. Open space according to the look tool. But it shouldn't be, because there's a wall underneath it. So what's the deal? What if we mine this... Someone's going to get a block of stone on their head, or what? Cancels construct building. He's horrified. Horrified of what? There's nothing to be horrified about. There's no dead bodies besides this walrus or whatever this is. Wombat. How's our poor dude down down here? Poor guy's gonna starve to death. He's completely stripped. He's stark naked. That's why I can't let him out, otherwise the dwarves are gonna go get stressed by seeing a new dwarf hanging around. Oh, there's a hunter. No, oh, I don't need hunters. Hunters are frustrating. If there's going to be a um, someone die of something, it's always going to be a hunter. Where are we? Hunting. No. You can go fish. Do we have any fishermen? Yeah, we do. Probably don't have a fish cleaner though. Let's build a workshop. Fishery H. Oh, do we have leather works? Because we've got a few bit of leather, I could make some bags. Because all these damn seeds are taking up this food stockpile. Let's see. Soap makers workshop. Uh, workshop. Do we have a... Where are we? Cloffers. Which is ten... Oh, is it in the cloffers shop? Whoops. No, it's not. Why am I missing it? Oh, it's right up the top. Level works. Plonk it down right there. Now, do we have a level worker? That's the next question. Where are we? Level working. Let's give it to this guy. No, he's a doctor. Fishery, no. Ah, the sweet sound of sparring. It's like music to my lower intestine. is hunting. It's amazing how many bolts I've got to fire at one animal. It's ridiculous. Like the hunter shoots, shoots, the hunter shoots, the hunter shoots. It's 
See, that's open space there too. What's the deal? That's yellow sand. Oh, okay. Yep, so you can just mine under it and it's fine. That's bizarre. I <laughs> don't know why it does that. There's a wall underneath yet it shows it as open space above. There's another one over here somewhere. This one. Oh. If that's the game way the game wants to do it, that's fine with me. Apparently there's a apparently there's a hole here. Which doesn't make any sense to me at all either, but okay. The cool thing about once this is all channeled, the trees will grow up and I don't have to chop them down again. Moment crab white right wing. I wasn't aware that crabs had wings, but that's cool. Okay, so let's keep channeling down. Designate this area. And make sure to take this off, that's for sure. As much as I love magma, I don't want it spewing all over my pretty lake. The wall construction is pretty much done. I'm just going to do this corner. Well, pretty much done. I mean, done just here. It's definitely not done in the, in the long term. I'll just bring it out here a bit and then we'll won't go any further. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it securely because the way I've got to do it, anything can flame and uh, just jump in. So I don't know. I'm going to have to train up some more troops, I suppose, and just have them hanging around while it's being built. Attached to an obsidian short sword. That's not good. Got plenty of obsidian getting mined up here, that's good. I might build a few. Uh, let's see. Probably just here's a good spot. A few Masons workshops. Build this one crooked. <laughs> Not wall. No. Nope. My key bindings, I just automatically go to wall whenever I go into the construction menu for now at the moment. There's a beehive, but no trees. So, how's our squad's military training go? Let's just read the dwarves. Um... Squad one. I should be nicknaming them in their squads, I think. Squad one. Squad one. Come on. Man, it's running so slow. You think I'm running this on a Commodore 64 or something. 
Okay, so that's we. Oh, here we go. Yeah, discipline. Oh, they're going pretty good. Discipline's getting up. Fighter. Strength. One one dwarf is standing out. No. Anyway, that's fine. What's happening? Could not find path, eh? Likely story. Did someone get horrified again? No. We need our power for seeds. Potato plants, there's no... No seeds. I wonder if you can make cloth out of hemp. Should be able to. Whether they've um, been put in by Toadie yet or not is another question. We might block there. Now comes the. Oh, I just want to get these miners up here to channel this back so I can get in there to do what I need to do. Why is there a fish up there? Lungfish! Maybe that's something the hunter can hunt. <laughs> At least it can't get away. <laughs> It's like the carp of old dwarf fortress. You want to get get all your dwarves slaughtered? You just embark next to a river with carp in it, and that's how they die. Good work, dwarf. Get in there. Got a lot of idlers again. Okay, so what do I need to do here? Thinking, thinking. Um, let's just go construction floor. Just put it here for now. Make it out of early night blocks, just. Where have they all gone? There we go. Now I need. Up downstairs here. Ah, the sound of training. Never fails to bring a tear to my stomach lining. What was that? Sound like a sheep. I need to build a wall over here because otherwise stuff can get in. Can get in sneakily. They can get in lots of other places, trust me, but they can get in sneakily there. <laughs> Stare. Can I? Damn, I can't do it that way. I might have to change my plans, but we'll see. Not my plans, but just the way I do things. Because the problem about building a single wall thickness up to you know, pretty high up in the air is you've either got to designate it um, single wall blocks at a time or you've got to build like a floor next to it so the dwarves can walk on the floor and build the wall but then you've got all the way up you've got these floors that are sitting there and they're really hard to remove without your dwarves committing suicide off the edge so I'm trying to figure out a way 
around it by using stairs and it will work good so you, you place place up and down stairs on this row along here like this and they'll just build it along and then you come along and you can wall along this one and it's much easier to remove up down stairs than it is floors because well generally dwarves will get stuck on floors and all kinds of stupid stuff but with up down stairs they can stand on the floor below and remove the one above them and they don't kill themselves this is how it goes in theory anyway don't quote me on this it could all turn out to be really bad but we'll find out we'll designate this wall here It'll take them a while to build these stairs because I can only access it one block at a time, but at least I can designate a, you know, largish chunk of it to be done. Cancels building unconscious. What? Oh, for goodness sake. Where did he... Here? What did he do here? <laughs> How did that happen? Left upper leg skids along the ground and part is smashed. Oh my goodness. He must have fallen down the stairs. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He dies nursing the poor patient. So what's injured? Right, left upper leg is annihilated. Okay. Well, that's absurd. Hey, mate, have you ever walked before? Like, is this your first time using stairs? Man, this is going to be a slow process. Very slow process. Just wondering if I could, how I could make it faster. Oh, well, that's not too bad. They can walk along the top of this, the wall below it, to construct the stairs. Hmm, okay. Let's, um, get our proficient miners over here, just to mine this away. I'll build, build like, one section, just to see how it pans out. What's this dog doing now? And why do we have a loose dog? It should be in this pen. Ah, oh, that's why. They came with the migrants. A pile of vomit. <laughs> why is there vomit on our farm plot? <laughs> Oh, I love this game. It cracks me up. It's like, why is this vomit here? Well, I don't know, it's just there. Because reasons. Because Dwarf Fortress reasons, that's why. No. How's our poor fella downstairs? He's still going. Poor guy's been thirsty for like two years. And they're still smelting stuff. Good work. Well, let's see now. Let's build a few... A few more stairs.
that probably wraps it up for this episode everyone thank you so much for watching don't don't forget to throw in a comment or a like and definitely hit the subscribe button if you like my videos and i will see you next episode thanks for watching